So I recently did a post on migration options from Cisco Umbrella Roaming Client to the new Cisco Secure Client. And you can find the article on my website, networkwithkid.com, and it goes through basically the end of life announcement of the Umbrella Roaming Client, which is April the 2nd, 2004 and with the last date of support being a year after that, so April the 2nd, 2025. And it also goes through some potential ways to migrate or to use the new or recommended uh, secure client moving forward. So feel free to have a read of that. I've got information on there with regards to potentially doing a stage migration or full migration and how to migrate if you're already using Cisco's AnyConnect solution um, or how to migrate. More importantly, if you're still using the Umbrella roaming client. And that's exactly what we're going to take a look at in this video. I'm going to run through option one here, which is showing how to migrate from the umbrella roaming client to the new Cisco secure client and the steps that we need to take. So although documented here, sometimes people like to uh, learn visually. Um, so that's why I'm doing this uh, quick demonstration just to show you this option. So I have my machine here, which is actually the machine that I'm on now. And you can see it's actually using or running the umbrella roaming client as it stands. So what we need to do is we need to migrate this. Now, granted, this is only one machine. If you are looking at doing this migration from multiple machines in your environment, then it's likely that you're going to have some sort of um, management tools where you can push the software out to all the machines. So do just bear that in mind, but nevertheless, the process is pretty much the same if you are, um, regardless of which uh, method you are following. So if we just flick now to our umbrella instance, you can see that uh, this the status here of the device that I've just shown you, uh, if we just drop down there, you can see there that it's using the umbrella roaming client, as you can see, and we want to click on roaming clients here. And as I said, in my documentation, please do take a look at that. Um, the umbrella roaming client is now uh, being announced that will go end of life April the 2nd, 2024. So the recommended way to migrate, or one of the options is to actually use the umbrella dashboard to download the secure client and install that on the machines that you need uh, the secure client running on. Now, when we migrate from the umbrella roaming client, we will also need to take note and uh, actually do step two, which is downloading the Umbrella Roaming Security Module Profile, and that's specific to your Umbrella tenant, because that's not going to be, um, the, the settings from Umbrella will not be carried across to uh, the secure client. Now, the good thing is when you uh, download this and install this on the machine, uh, the umbrella roaming client will automatically be removed. So you don't have to worry about having to remove that. Now there is a slight caveat there. Do check that out in my documentation. And that all really depends on what version of windows, uh, you're, you're using. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to select here pre-deployment package because we're just going to install it on, uh, directly on the machine. So we'll just download that now. So once that pre-deployed package is downloaded, if we just go back now to our test machine and what we'll do is it will just extract this secure client package that we've just downloaded. I'll leave the umbrella roaming client running. And then what we'll do here is if we just go to set up here, And then we have uh, a bunch of options that we can select. If you do already have support for the Umbrella Roaming Client, then uh, you can leverage this already. Uh, but if you're unsure, always check with your Cisco accounts team. 
But what we want to do here is we want to just, let's just deselect everything apart from what we need. So we'll remove that, posture, thousand eyes, we'll remove all that and we'll just keep the core which is required and we'll keep umbrella as well as the diagnostics and reporting tool. Now, if you don't select core and any connect VPN that will still be installed in the background. It just won't show on the uh, little GUI that pops up uh, when you select or click on the secure client down on the right hand side. So we'll just leave that selected and we'll install the selected there. And then it just asks you to confirm. We'll say, okay, We'll accept the end user license agreement and then we'll let that install. So once the installation is complete, we'll just select OK there and that should be all installed now. So if we just click on the uh, bottom right hand side, we can't see that it's running. So what we'll do is we'll just search for the secure client. So if we just go to all our apps, Cisco secure client, and now if we just give that a moment to open and there you go, you can see now that it's come up. So we have the AnyConnect one that uh, is installed. Again, if you don't select the option on install, it just won't show this, but it's still required to install. And then you can see we've got the umbrella uh, roaming client there that's installed um, or the umbrella roaming uh, security module rather that's installed uh, and you can see there that it's active as well and if you look now on the um, the uh, task tray at the bottom um, you can see there that the umbrella roaming client has actually gone and been removed and we can actually validate that if we just go into our applications here uh, let me just refresh this so you can see the Cisco secure client is now installed in the umbrella module and the diagnostics and reporting. But now the umbrella roaming client has been deleted. So that's no longer there. That's been removed as part of the, uh, the install there. Now, the last thing that we need to do, as I said, because we have migrated from the umbrella roaming client to the Cisco secure client, we need to install the umbrella roaming module profile. So if we go back to umbrella here under step two, we can see that this is my profile here and I'll just download that profile by clicking on that. And that's going to give me the organization information which is specific to uh, my tenant. And then once we've done that, I'll just copy that across to the test machine. And then once on the test machine, you can see it's, it's copied across here. I'll just copy that file. And I have actually listed the location as to where this needs to be uh, added to um, once the Cisco secure client has been installed so on windows i've added location on my article and also for mac os as well so what we'll do now is we'll just navigate to i'll just open up a new file explorer here and then what we'll do is we'll navigate to our c drive there we go i just show the hidden files there so go to program data cisco Cisco secure client and then we need to then look for umbrella which is right here and then what we'll do is we'll put this organization info in here um, so just before I do that actually what I'll do is I'll just modify the name just to remove the the two on there because I just had a, a duplicate file there so I'll just copy that there and then all you need to do is simply paste that in there and replace the file in the destination so we'll just continue with that and that's it so the umbrella organization information now specific to my tenant has been added to uh, this this machine now so this is this is all in here so if we click on umbrella now we can see that we're protected by the virtual appliance we can see some more information here and then we've got obviously all the requests etc if we do request any 
Um, so what we'll do now is we'll just refresh our, so if we just go back to umbrella and we just refresh this uh, particular screen now. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll just expand this and now what we can see is we can see that the client type now has changed from the umbrella roaming client to the Cisco Secure, Cisco Secure client and you can see that the version is there as well. So in terms of migration, it's as simple as that if you are moving from the umbrella roaming client. Obviously, you do need to take into consideration, as I've pointed out in my article, whether you decide to do a stage migration or a full rollout, and you also need to uh, take into consideration how you uh, get that, uh, that software onto the uh, the new machines using whatever management tools if you are using them already um, to make sure that that migration is as successful as possible. But aside from that, the actual process, as you can see, migrating away from the Umbrella Roaming client is fairly straightforward. So what I would say is do not delay. You have until April 2024 before it goes end of life so it's probably a good time to start planning now at least for the start of um, 2024 if you've not already depending on the size of your deployment to get migrated across to the Cisco secure client.